Hi everyone, this is Crypto Layman and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to first of all give you some helium news and some updates about what the manufacturers are doing and how uh, shipping is coming along for all the major full manufacturers of uh, helium hotspots. After that there is some concerning behavior and some concerning things that have come to my attention and the community's attention so I just want to make sure that you are aware of those so I'll be telling you about those. Before we jump straight into the video though if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe to the channel every subscription counts it's a it's really helpful and if you already have subscribed I am grateful to you thank you very much for all your support and the conversations and comments uh, that we've been having um, have been absolutely great and very very informative and educating so please continue contributing to the channel and i really appreciate that if you like the content that i produce or if you like the sound of my voice which i frankly don't uh please make sure you hit the like button so this video can be shared with more people thank you very much now without further ado uh, let's jump straight into this video so first of all, we'll start off with Calchip and Rack Wireless. So Rack Wireless are the manufacturers. Calchip are the distributors for uh, the United States, uh, actually globally, pretty much. So Rack Wireless produced those devices in China. They shipped them out to, to Calchip in the United States, who then distributes them further out to all the customers across the globe. So the yesterday's update, uh, ba update basically said that they are uh going to ship out the hippo and gorilla batches uh out to customers uh in the next one to two weeks um as well as some uh more eu leftover miners that will be going out uh, this week as well um further to that they add that uh they are have uh, a further three batches uh the iguana the jekyll and the kangaroo batch which are ready um to be shipped out from china to Kelchip, uh, which will be done in due course, and uh, then once uh, they have been received in uh, the United States by Kelchip, uh, Kelchip can then further distribute them uh, uh, further down the line to customers. So that's uh, an update there. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to find out um, what dates uh, were allocated to these uh, batch names. Uh, but if you know, if you have ordered and you have a uh, uh, an order number, what you can do is uh, you can go to uh, the website, click on the shipping updates. Uh, it will come bring you to this uh, latest update, and then if you click on that uh, uh, on this link here, which basically says the shipping calculator, uh, it will take you to a page where you can enter your uh, order order number and then search by your order number uh to basically uh, tell you what's happening with it just as an example if your order number is in the 19000 region there is still no update because you haven't been assigned a batch yet um this is an order number uh, for someone i know and i was tracking it for them uh, and i'll have full consent uh to share this order number on here so hopefully that helps you in finding out what's going on so next, uh, we'll look at Synchrobit. Uh, Synchrobit have uh, provided an update uh, on their blog. The last update was on the 29th of April, saying that they've, uh, the FCC testing's passed with flying colors, etc., and that allude to more updates uh, that will be coming soon. But I can tell you, uh, even though there hasn't been any update on the blog since the 29th of April, uh, on their Discord, they have provided updates, uh, and they are quite active on that uh, channel. Uh, so let's quickly share uh, with you what they have said on uh, their Discord channel. Essentially, they're saying that uh, they are fully aware and working hard to meet their promise of uh, being able to ship those units out in early May. And uh, they are aware that the clock is ticking. Uh, they also talk about uh, two completed units have been sent to somebody called George, uh, who, or who I believe is one of their team members. Uh, who is responsible for testing the units uh, for or for um, sort of quality assurance type of, type of scenario, and uh, they also say that another twenty five units are on their way to George to check the consistency is the same across the board 
uh, for all the units manufactured. Now, what they say is once uh, George has received and tested those units, uh, there are approximately 3,000 units that are in, uh, in various stages of manufacturing. Uh, but once they have given, uh, they're satisfied with the consistency of these units, they are going to give their manufacturers a green light in China, um, who will then, you know, ship out uh, 1,000 units in the in the first uh, uh, few days, uh, because they they just need to sort of uh, uh, assemble them with minor tweaks. Um, so that will. Uh, a proc happen in the next uh, few days or few weeks. I'm not entirely sure on the time scales here um, because they don't really allude to it. As uh, for the North American uh, customers, they basically say the, the F FCC uh, testing hasn't still been completed, so the projection uh, for the shipments and test uh, is actually late May rather than early May. Um, as you can see on the Discord channel, there are regular updates. They are much more active on the Discord channel rather than the uh, official blog uh, of, the, of the website. So I would suggest if you want to stay up to date, you can either subscribe to this channel because I will pr provide you with regular updates. Or you can simply go and join the uh, Synchrobit uh, Discord channel and uh, keep looking at the pinned messages. Uh, that way you'll stay up to date. So that's uh, what Synchrobit uh, are saying and doing. And now let's move on to the Bobcat miners. Bobcat have not updated their official blog at all since the beginning. They are, however, active on Twitter and Discord. I can tell you that on Twitter, uh, the last update was about 10 to 12 hours ago, uh, where they were saying that uh, order numbers up to 10,195 have been picked up by DHL and are being shipped out. So congratulations. If your order number is below 10,195, your miner is en route. Um, besides that, uh, on their Discord channel, there hasn't been any updates since the 30th of April, which was essentially an update saying that the estimated delivery times are going to increase as of the first of or for orders as of the 1st of uh, May 2021. Uh, previously, the shipping estimate was between 8 to 12 weeks. However, for any orders placed on or after the 1st of May, these shipping estimates will increase to 12 to 20 weeks. So that is essentially it from Bobcat. So we'll talk about Nebra now. Nebra, as you, you're probably aware, uh, posted an update on the 5th of May saying that uh, there will be a further two weeks delay before the units are actually uh, shipped out of China to their manufacturers and to Nebra in the United Kingdom before they can be further distributed on to the customers. So now that update came shortly after I uploaded a uh, rant about how Nebra were poorly managing their customers and their expectations. Uh, but I would like to clarify that I don't believe that this uh, update had anything to do with my video at all. I think the update ca came in initially only because the community on Discord was getting really restless and upset. And uh, that uh, ha sort of forced Nebra's hand to provide us with an update. Uh, they didn't have any choice because people started cancelling orders, etc. So that being said they have provided an update so two weeks uh, delay uh, have been added to the shipping schedule from China um, which had ha has had a knock-on effect on customers in North America uh, where Pali Labs have basically said right, look they've written to their customers and they have told them to expect another one month delay because as I said previously in my previous video Units are actually being manufactured in China. China. From China, they're being shipped out to the distributors, such as Pali Labs and uh, the European distributor. And then from then there on, they will be distributed and sent out and shipped out to the individual customers. So that inevitably adds to the shipping times. So I think Pali Labs, per se, as a company, are doing a great job 
uh, in terms of uh, m trying to manage something that's beyond their control. Um, so please don't give them too much heat. I think the 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 fault doesn't lie with them, but uh, I think Nebra should have been more transparent from the beginning, uh, and should have managed uh, the customers' expectations a lot better. Now there is something else that really I want to share with you guys. Um, there has been um, an increasing trend of people trying to defraud um, others who are interested in these hotspots. So a lot of fake websites have been popping up. Um, I'll give you an example. So Nebra did a really good job in posting this on their blog. And they are, have listed a couple of websites that they and I would like to, to be aware of. So they are saying that obviously Nebra miners at the moment, as you as you are probably aware, the pre-sale of those units is closed because of uh, obviously the sheer pressure that Nebra are under. And they are telling people not to buy any units or pay anything to these three websites they've listed. So it's nebra-miners.com forward slash shop. Uh, nebra hyphen hnt hyphen miners dot com uh, and then hnt indoor miner dot com so these are fake websites please avoid them at all cost and do not fall for this trap and lose your money so that's one thing moving on further uh, I have uh, become aware of a lot of people listing these uh, miners on eBay and uh, please do me the favor so this is this is a thing uh, so nebra helium indoor hnt minor batch one uk eu 868 and the the best offer uh, at the moment is 12345 pounds and 67 pence that is absolutely atrocious uh, bearing in mind that this minor is not even shipped yet so please batch one hasn't been shipped yet so don't fall for this kind of scammery uh again people are selling uh, bobcats for 510 pounds so over 200 pounds of profit here um for uh, eu and uk and and it's just a, a pre-order again you can see here they've sold 16 this week so they've pre-ordered a ton of them and they're selling them on. Um, and the theme just repeats itself on eBay as well. I have also heard that people are trying to sell their rack miners that they have actually got from Emirate. So please, please be aware. If there is somebody trying to sell an Emirate miner to you, uh, I have spoken to the Emirate team about it and they have advised that they it's the miners are their property and therefore cannot be resold without their permission and if when you email them to get the sd card reflushed or uh, anything done to these miners the uh, emirate team will point blank refuse because they have the right to do so it's their property and you shouldn't be buying it uh, from whoever selling selling it to you so please be aware of these uh, sharks out there who are trying to profiteer from the whole situation again most of these units uh, are banebra and they're pre-ordered so it's just scammy i mean batch 3rd of june delivery i mean i'm not sure how they know that they will be uh, delivered in june we don't really know at the moment so it's batch 3 batch 3 is nowhere near june delivery so again they're selling it asking five to five thousand pounds for it it's absolutely atrocious so please stay clear of these sharks so this is uh, what i want to make you aware of so there are scammers out there who are trying to take your money trying to take advantage of the whole situation and please 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 don't fall for these if you want to buy something and pre-order something do it from an approved vendor so thank you very much that's it for today thank you for staying tuned and watching this video to the end you have been absolutely phenomenal thank you for all your support uh, once again if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel uh, every subscription helps and if you find the information on this channel useful please 
don't forget to smash the like button so this video can be shared with other people and people can benefit from the knowledge and we can learn together and grow as a community so thank you very much once again uh, look after yourselves and i will speak to you soon